Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, you guys. Hopefully, this won't be too distorted. I am actually <laughs> uh, driving somewhere this morning, and uh, I just was listening to Sapphire Jewel's uh, clip and immediately knew that I needed to clarify something. Okay, so um, I'm just going to start playing. It's not very much of it. I'm going to try to make this short and sweet. So I'm going to start playing her. We're going to react to it. Sapphire Jewel's Unfair Use. Love you, girl. Uh, hold on, guys. Let me get my tablet here. And I'll try to stop and break it down. So let me just tell you first. First of all, I think it's Laura's chat. Uh, they're discussing, uh, Johnson comes up, uh, I don't know who else, Eileen, Eileen is up there, and I don't know who else, but anyway, they're discussing the, the said text messages that have been, you know, in the damn, uh, everybody's mouth the last couple weeks, okay? The ones that Eileen, uh, revealed between her and Queen B, okay? So, y'all know what that's all, all that crap's about, but, uh, so... It comes up about the picture that I posted the day that Marissa's mother passed. Or well, the day they were doing the funeral. Uh, the picture that I posted as my thumbnail, which is uh, a picture of Sloppy Molly's backside as she's getting out of her vehicle at the funeral home. And so Laura, as always, is fixing to spout her mouth off and speak what she wants the truth speak what she believes to be the truth I guess and she is nowhere near it so I'm going to play it and then I'll explain oh. and of course I'm probably buffering like you're kind of just hiding in the shadows with your dirty deeds. You're more of it. And truly, anybody who has ever like watched me or listened to me, they know that in the moments, I'm absolutely going to take the time to process what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing. I don't like fucking clipped receipts because context fucking everything. And I do believe that there there is a truth somewhere in between what she says and what you say. But without the actual cool on receipts, I don't know who's telling the truth. Right. I hope that he does. I really do. Because I, I think there's a lot of a lot of us who want to see the full on fucking conversations, not just bits and pieces of it. The bits and pieces who are please, can it be over? Put this shit out. I don't know. Sorry. What? I can't I'm sorry, I don't have to talk to my phone. Hey Samantha. My phone is dying, so Hey girl. Hey, I think your questions in the chat. Yeah, Laura, can I ask a question? Now Johnson's up there. Everybody's already known that, right? Go ahead. Well, I, I don't know. I just heard Aileen say that, yes, Marissa uh, was followed at her mother's funeral, and she has photos of her and her husband and her yep. children, but Queen's not involved in it, and it just got skipped right over. Yeah, that's okay. what I mean, Mike. Because okay, first of all, <laughs> uh, let me just set this straight. First of all, no, she was not followed. <laughs> I did not have her followed. As a matter of fact, would never do anything like that. Um... Uh, Never did I even have a follow. I was sent that picture. I actually, when I had done um, that live that I did, that was not the thumbnail that I used. That picture come in later that day after I was done with the live, and because I was so pissed off that she had uh, freaking talked shit about Ginger Luck's mom, and I was so pissed about what she'd said the week before. And then that day, that's what I went like. And I had a completely different thumbnail. So later on that day, whenever someone just sent me that picture, <laughs> uh, someone that doesn't know Queen Bee nor Eileen, okay, doesn't know, it had nothing to do with, I mean, they weren't even a figment of nobody's imagination that day. Nobody was sent to take pictures. This particular person that sent me this, and it was a female, not a he, Laura, um, just so happened to be around the corner uh, it was just really a big coinky thing that that even happened okay it's no hidden agenda behind it I'm not calculated like that uh, I don't roll like that you guys and I, I don't give two craps about you know what she had on I did that I, I changed that thumbnail because I was pissed and so I'm gonna 
I'm going to say this. Uh, uh, considering everything that has been done and said about me and to me from uh, Sloppy Molly's mouth, huh, <laughs> boo-hoo, bitch, if that's, a, if that's enough that's bothering you, is it because I posted a picture of your backside as my thumbnail <laughs> and you're worried about that or other people are worried about that mm, boo -hoo, here's some tissue to dry your damn tears up because quite frankly that's mild compared to what has been done to me okay uh, and I am a believer in some circumstances an eye for an eye although I haven't always acted like that I do see some truths because I'm going to tell you something until you have been done wronged and done bad by somebody especially somebody that you know you had once considered a friend until you have you know walked that path you don't know what you would do you you can say i would never i would never dog i would never do that you you know you can sure it's easy to say that but whenever it hits home and it cuts deep and lies are told about you people do react and maybe in the moment do and say things that they normally wouldn't do which is not what happened here this is well past that i was upset at what she did at gender Locks mom but look guys i meant no harm by that yes it was on the day that she uh was burying or you know they were having a funeral for her mother but let's be real you guys she was so messed up on whatever drugs she was on and that she you all remember the ride right <laughs> between adrian and jake and her to the uh, to the funeral home come on it is what it is. And I, like I said, I had no grace for her. Because I can tell you this. If the shoe was on the other foot, the roles were reversed, she wouldn't have shown me any grace either. So I make no apologies for making that picture my thumbnail. I've heard Jilly from Philly or whatever she's going by. I've heard her and Fadizzle Fadizzle uh, fuss about that picture and I should take it down. Uh, bite me okay bite me that's what i think about that i haven't given it any more thought and it is what it is guys i mean really and truthfully it is what it is so anyway laura i don't know what you're talking about he because he well, we're fixing to get to that everybody's making from alien it's 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 kind of hovering in the background but i feel like if she said that queen was involved it'd be a whole discussion so that makes it us would. biased you know what i'm saying I laura that's your friend, friend. I never said she was involved in that. Exactly. And everybody she, skipped over it. A funeral. Your friend, right. Laura. <laughs> Even though he cares about that, his queen's not involved. I already I know where it came from. It was fucking barnyard. We already know this. Well, I'm in the chat, and we all seem to not know this. I, I didn't think someone followed her to her funeral. I mean, I thought that'd be ridiculous and really fucked up. Yeah, it all stemmed from barnyard. Now wait, we have five minutes to about Wait, 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 back up a second. Back it up a second. Um, are you saying he recorded it? No, we believe, we believe that Barnyard is the one that sent somebody to follow. Laura, we believe. Bitch, you got a frog in your pocket? Who's we, dear? Who's we? Huh, because no, I didn't ha have anybody follow her. You sound like an idiot, Laura. Trying to be... No all see all about something you absolutely have no freaking ideal about. Once again, ding ding ding, the dumbass award goes to Laura. Perplexed. Marissa. We're looking at pictures of Marissa. That's what we were always, me and Marissa were always told. So Aileen, 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 I didn't even I have no idea who Eileen is. Okay, have no contact with her. Don't know anybody. <laughs> I mean, nothing had nothing to do with Queen Bee. But apparently, Eileen, being the Fruit Loop that she is, uh, I guess at one point when that come up, she apparently, if from what I gather from this chat, she tried to claim it, claim that that she actually, you know, was going to hold that one close to her chest and not real reveal her source when she didn't even take the damn picture okay she had nothing to do with that picture nothing so um uh, anyway so i guess all this is unfolding and laura's fixing to reference the dude or whatever i don't think barnyard's the one that went no 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 it was sent. Excuse me. the person who was sent to record mgl at the funeral uh, i don't know who that was 
You said you have photos on your phone. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. Because we sent to me. I don't know who the person was. You know, that's all I know. Okay, and I can guarantee you, I didn't send that picture to her. I don't even, I couldn't send it to her if I wanted to. I have no idea where she lives, what her phone number is, what her real name. I have no idea who this lady is, except she's a Fruit Loop, okay? So, and a shit stirrer. And she will do anything for attention. And she is like a child. She don't care whether it's bad attention or good attention. She just wants the damn attention. She is making a mockery out of this community, as far as I'm concerned. She, honestly, you guys, I wouldn't give her any credit, anything that comes out of her mouth. I would not give it any credence to having any uh, solidity to it. Seriously, guys. Seriously. She is nothing but a shit starter. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. That's not what you said before. You put, you clenched your fist and put it to your chest and said, oh, no, I'm not going to tell that one. We could go back and record it and, like, rewind. I don't see that. Yeah, you said because he. I didn't know. You, you said because know. he is your friend. Yeah, you were up here. Yeah, she definitely said because he is my friend, and then you implied that he was part of Queen's team. No, no I said that Queen wasn't involved, and then everybody right. just moved on to the next thing. I don't know who that was. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so obviously, Eileen has lost as a Christmas goose at Thanksgiving. She has done, let her, uh, you know, uh, mouth overload her butt. She then popped off and said something insinuating that she knows more or knows something that she absolutely knows nothing about. And when they're discussing it, she's freaking lost. She's trying, like in a damn paper sack, trying to find her way out. So... But Laura, you know, she's going to clue everybody in. Uh, that was my point. It's biased. We're going to talk about what Queen's involved in. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. You're saying you're trying to right your wrongs, and, and it's very obvious that you're trying to seek revenge on Queen. And I get part of it was absolutely clearing your name. But at this part, this is a personal vendetta that you have, and you're not trying to right your wrongs. Because if you were, you want to be secretive as to who else is going to like and send you information. I don't all know. The out there. I, think, I don't know who it is. I think you're right. Don't come for me, I like you. Can I just say, I would never reveal sources. Never have, never will. You can beat the shit out of me, I will still never tell you who sent me what. Oh, and I've, I've had that rule from day one. It's bullshit. It's, it's already telling what Queen's done. So at this point, why not tell everything? Because I'm trying to clear my name. Why doesn't anybody understand? All her people are calling me names and saying that I'm all this shit. And she, I gave her the opportunity, I have the messages, to fix it. Yeah, but that's it. like black girl. Never did. Well, if everybody is, you know, pulling you around in this wagon full of crap, Eileen... You have no one but yourself to thank for that because you have, you should be sitting somewhere with a huge ass spoon full of shit licking it right now because you have stirred this pot, you've created this pot, and I don't even know why you were even given any attention. It is. Huh? Yeah. With the way you're your name. Yeah, because you're like, I have more, and I'll put it out. I'll put it, put it all out. Put it all out and get it, get it all out there. But at this point, it is. It's like blackmail almost. No, it's not blackmail. What a blackmail? Are they asking for something, right, money? In exchange? Well, I think they're asking for them to stop handing out to you. For you to stop releasing private messages and making it seem one-sided, what do you want from Queen? I don't want nothing. What is it? I asked her months ago to fix this. Okay? And what made me snap was the other day with none y'all in there. So he yelled, called me a liability, uh, saying this, that, and the other thing. Oh, really? Okay. So I hung up and I said, you know what? I'm going to give her time. She didn't do it. So then I said, this is it. I've had it. I'm going to clear my name. Because I'm not the So, Eileen, you basically were uh, blackmailing, trying to blackmail Queen and threaten her, which is bullshit. Of course, Queen is not going to react or give in to something like that. We are grown ass women around here. Jiminy Crick, start acting like it. I mean, who threatens to someone with. I mean, that's so childish and, first of all, speaks volumes as to somebody's character and morals and what kind of person they are. One time, if I was to hear something like that, one time, out of somebody's mouth that was even uh, cordial t toward me, that would be enough for me to be done. I don't roll with people like that. Take the next right toward USD 4 West. I'm going real life on my own, okay? And everybody thinks I went to Dolly's on my own. Yeah, I did, but she knew before I went there. She yeah, that's what I'm saying, but you've been saying, nobody sent me, nobody sent me anywhere. So which is it? I just said nobody sent me. What? I just said nobody sent me there. But she knew I went there that half hour before I got there. She knew that time. Ha ha ha! She's laughing about it. 
So you said, I'm going to Dolly's, and she was like, bet. Let me know when no, you get there. No, I said, uh-huh. I'm not going to Dolly's. I'll send it to you. Yeah, 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 I, I put said, my email in the back, girl. I put my email in the back. You can uh, send well, everything. Well, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't know if I press on this. I don't want to tell you things, then I'll get myself out of here. I'll wait to the end. But, um, okay, I, hold on. I know who the he is. I just figured out who the he is. He is I not the one that went to take the pictures, but he is associated with Barnyard and that whole crew. <laughs> so I'll leave it at that. <laughs> we don't know. I, she was. Everyone is saying that he, he, that she said he sent it to her. I figured out who he was. She <laughs> ain't figured out shit, Laura. Dolly. Okay, she ain't figured out shit. So I'm not. I mean, I don't know who I'm supposed to be associated with as a man, but a man did not send me that picture. <laughs> it was a female, and um, that works in the area. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I posted the picture to my thumbnail. As far as I know, I'm the only one that has that picture besides the person that took it. I didn't ask for it. They just did it because they knew, had heard my live that I was upset and just wanted me. And so they didn't even insinuate that I make it a thumbnail. I decided to do that. Me, myself, and I. And I still make no apologies for it. Okay? So anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Really and truly. All right, shake off the Skittles, man. Let some let this crap go, man. There is too much real-life stuff we should be doing besides worrying about this. He said, she said bullshit. People like Eileen, all they want to do is create what you just listened to. It's bullshit. You guys love one another. Smile, I dare you, okay? Diamond cutter out. <laughs>